Rap is one of the most entertaining genres that have developed in this century. It's given a lot of people the voice in life they wouldn't have had otherwise. A lot of successful rappers are people who grew up in very rough neighborhoods and under very poor conditions. However, with rap, they get to express themselves in the most creative ways. Their message becomes very important because they fuse a lot of their background into their music and their use of language is one that a lot of their fan base can identify with. However, there are some rappers who didn't grow up in the ghetto or under poor conditions, but have created personas that make their fan base believe they did. These rappers switch their persona completely to fit the narrative they're trying to make people believe. Does any name come to your mind? In this video, we will expose five rappers who completely changed their persona to try and fit what they talk about in their raps. So stay tuned, you won't want to miss hearing these names. Before we get into this list, don't forget to leave a like on this video. And if you would like our monthly giveaway of a brand new iPhone 11, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Now let's get into it with number 1. Tupac Yes, this is a very surprising inclusion. Even though Tupac is one of the most influential artists of all time, there are some things you may not know about his personality. He built his whole brand around the persona of being a thug. He hung around a lot of gangsters during his music career, and some of his songs talk about the thug life that he personified. He even had thug life tattooed on his belly. However, Tupac himself never lived a gangster life. Even though he came from a revolutionary family and he lived a revolutionary life, he never had any affiliation with gangs. Tupac was a very intelligent kid and he attended very good schools. His thug persona was created to help him connect with his black audience at a deeper level. Number 2. Tyga For many years, Tyga wrote on the narrative that he grew up in a low socioeconomic area. In fact, he told people that his name is a backronym for Thank You God Always. However, in 2012, a leaked video exposed the whole lies. In the video, it was revealed that he grew up in the San Fernando Valley, with his parents even boasting of a Range Rover. As a rapper, he buried his affluent background and he rapped about struggles, women, and violence among other themes. Number 3. Ice Cube Ice Cube is famous for rapping about the hood and gangsterism. In the cover of his 2010 album I Am The West, he is seen holding a gun. He has a track titled Gangsta Rap Made Me Do It. He built his entire career as a young rapper as a tough and violent man. The truth is that Ice Cube's upbringing in life is very removed from the things he rapped about. He grew up in Baldwin Hills, had a good education, and even had a backup career as an architect in case rap didn't work out for him. Not many rappers from the ghetto have such luxuries. A lot of Ice Cube's music is about females, violence, and death, all of which were never his real-life experience growing up. This doesn't mean that his raps about being tormented by the police were ever untrue during his upbringing, but the rest was never as real life as his raps proclaim. Number 4. Rick Ross it may break your heart to know that Rick Ross, your favorite rapper that talks about drug dealing and gangster activities, has no real-life connection with what he raps about. The truth, in fact, is that Rick Ross appropriated the name of a real drug dealer to create the identity he now has. Does that confuse you? Let me explain. Rick Ross's real name is Robert, and instead of being a gangster before becoming a rapper, he worked as a correctional officer. The name which he now uses as his rap name, Rick Ross, is the name of a former drug trafficker, Ricky Donald Ross. Robert appropriated the man's whole identity to become his. In real life, Robert Rick Ross worked as a correctional officer for 18 months and he is a devout Christian. Number 5. Ludacris Many know Ludacris for his work as an actor and not a rapper. However, before he started pursuing a career in acting, he had already established himself as a good rapper. His rap message was wrapped around sexualizing women and talking about gangsterism. A lot of his songs even have the word gangster in their titles, like Gangstas, Southern Gangsta, etc. One would think that Ludacris must have grown up surrounded by gangster-related activities, but he grew up in a stable family. Ludacris had a good education, going all the way to college, where he studied music management. He's not affiliated with any gang, neither has he been involved in any violent activity, and he has never even been arrested. Not to say that's a bad thing, just not a truth told in his raps. Now, which of these five stories, which rapper's change persona was most surprising to you? Let us know down in the comments. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you for watching today's video. We'll see you in the next one.